This is a video on double bed jacquard on a brother machine um, using a KR850 ribber. The KRC, uh, the KR900 is exactly the same. It has what's called these lily buttons to enable you to do double bed jacquard. If you're going to do double bed jacquard, you must, and I repeat, this is most important, you must have an even number of needles on the ribber. Using the lily buttons for bird's eye jacquard, it knits the ribber needles every other one and it alternates on each row. If you don't have an even number of needles, it will knit the same needles every time and after a few rows you get a complete jam. So if your double bed jacquard is jamming, check you have an even number of needles on your ribber. Check that you have your ribber set at half pitch so that the needles don't clash. Um, you set it up for full needle rib and you cast on um, full needle rib cast on and do your tubular rows. I've actually done four um, tubular rows so I can end with the carriage on the left. You could of course do two tubular rows um, or you could do three tubular rows and then knit a row across. It just depends how much plain knitting you want before your pattern starts. I've got my colour changer set up with my contrast colour in number two. I'm going to push the carriage across, make sure everything's set to normal. You haven't got your um, buttons in for the uh, tubular rows. Set your carriage to KC and knit across to select the needles. you can now see hopefully there are sorry for all the wobbling there are needles selected I then for my particular machine I then uh, release the pattern and this is where you need to set your carriage correctly or carriages correctly on the ribber carriage, you turn both of the lily buttons to the lily setting. You turn the slide to the middle, because that, if you look underneath, you can't quite see it at this angle, but you can see there's a one, there's a two, and the one in the middle says lily. You push up both part buttons, or levers as these are, and on the main carriage, you press in both part buttons. As I say, release your card or on your electronic if you have to release it. I do on this particular one. Um, and my console will tell me which yarn colour I'm supposed to be on and it's telling me I'm on um, pattern row one and I need yarn colour one in. So I'm going to knit across and mine has now changed to tell me that the next row needs to be colour two. across and I've got a knot in my yarn like that my yarn decided to knot up um I've done this in black and white so you can actually see that I've just knitted two rows with the white I'm now going back over to pick up colour one because it's told me I need colour one now. And basically, um, it is as you would expect. It's two rows with each colour. Uh, 
and then just knit back and I think I may have the tension a little tight on this it is a matter of um, experimenting so I now have to pick up colour two and I'll keep knitting a few rows and um, I'll show what it looks like when I take it off the machine. It's an incredibly small sample because um, I've got other things to do. Um, as you can see there's the beginnings of a design occurring. That's the front side. The side that's facing you when you're knitting looks like that. And as you can see, it's bird's eye. I.e. it's not stripes. Every other stitch is being knitted on the river. Every other needle, sorry. So you get that, that on the back and um, that on the front. I hope that's made you realise that if you have an electronic machine that you can automatically select your KRC button as it's called or double jacquard button depending on which make you're using um, that it really is quite simple and apologies for that mess down there.